Brian Smallwood. I'm the head coach for the boys and girls varsity tennis teams at Hawkins. And today we're going to talk about a specialty shot. And what that shot is, is a drop shot. Now, a lot of people call this a touch skill or a finesse skill. Um, and when you make contact with a drop shot, I want to kind of go over what the racket head is doing to the ball when you do. First of all, when, when anybody gets a drop, usually they're using uh, a continental, which is a two and a half on both sides, forehand or backhand. And when we make contact with the ball, if you recall from our earlier sessions, you can hit a ball flat, you can hit a ball with top spin, or you can hit a ball with underspin. But for a drop, it's a combination of flat and under. You're going to actually do what I call seeding the ball. And what seeding the ball means is you're going to make a seat on the ball. So you're going to hit the back of the ball first, like the back of the seat, and then you're going to come through under the ball and create this uh, seat that, that takes the pace off the ball as the ball is coming to you. And what that does is that deadens the ball. Other people used to call this stopping the ball, but we're going to do that off both the forehand and the backhand. And what's great about drop shots is you can really take your opponent off guard with drop shots during a point. And they typically happen in the mid-court area, although they can happen from all the way on the baseline, especially on clay. And they can also happen when you're recovering a ball, you're running in, you're barely getting to the ball, and you can utilize a drop shot to bring your opponent in off the baseline as well. Okay, I've got a helper today who's going to help us out with this. Hi, my name is Praveen Kumar, and I'm a rising junior at Hawking School, as well as the first singles player for the boys' varsity team. Okay. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. 